Three-year-old Abigail Hassinger wandered away from her father in Witten Woods Park last night. The search lasted for just over 20 minutes before the girl was found and rushed to the hospital. Local 12's Richard Jordan is live with the latest on this developing story alert. Richard. Paula, no word on the girl's condition, but interestingly, cold water helps to prevent drownings, especially in children. Blood rushes toward the lungs, brain, and heart. The freezing temperatures may have also forced rescue crews to respond in higher numbers. Just a few minutes after the girl was noticed missing, police officers from surrounding agencies were called in. Because of the weather conditions, it was cold, uh, getting dark. Um, we considered this an emergency situation. Officials believe she wandered off. Her father was putting two younger children into a van when he turned around to grab three-year-old Abigail and she was suddenly gone. He's driving around looking for her. He didn't have a cell phone, so I'm making the call. He's driving around looking for her. Rescue crews joined the search, finding the girl in a red coat trapped underwater about 20 minutes after the initial report. They, they could see her visibly underneath the ice. The sheet of ice was cracked open, allowing a park ranger with two Green Hills police officers to reach in and grab the girl. She was uh, within arm's reach of the officers. They were able to pull her out of the water without... Uh, themselves going into the lake. Sergeant Bill Lehman says young children disappear quite often quickly leading to moments of panic. In this park on a, on a busy day we'll have three or four runs a day for lost children and you know almost always it turns out that that, uh, that you know, the, the parents just got separated from the children and are found shortly after. Hamilton County's Park District had a similar incident in the summer of 2001. A little girl just one and a half years old drowned in a Sharon Woods pond. The child attending a family reunion had only been missing for 10 minutes. The temperatures may help to explain why Abigail Hassinger, who spent twice as long in the water, managed to survive the dangerous plunge. I mean, there is more of a chance if a child falls in in the cold weather than in the warm, in the summer. If this had been summer and she had been in the water for, for an extended period of time, you know, we probably would have had different results. Hospital officials say Abigail Hassinger is surrounded by family members tonight, all hoping for the best possible outcome. The probability of survival is a lot greater for children who fall into very cold waters. There is an investigation into what happened, but so far, nothing to indicate foul play. Everything is pointing to an unfortunate accident. Paula? I never would have thought the cold was actually a good thing. Let's all hope for the best. Thank yes. you, Richard. Well, officials say the rescue was the result of a team effort by members of all the surrounding departments. And stay with us for any new information on the girl's recovery.